Hello friends, Matt Abaticola here for Playboy TV. That's right, Playboy Television here at the Score Sports Radio Station. Did you know, friends, that Playboy TV has been the leader in providing hot adult entertainment for 25 years? And to prove it, they have a very special promotion called Order for a Quarter. That's right, you can get your first month of Playboy Television for only 25 cents just by calling 800-887-7213 to get your first month of Playboy TV for just 25 cents. And to help me talk about that today, our two former Miss Playmates of the Month, to my right, right here, Miss August 2004, Pilar Lastra. Yes. And Miss May 2003, Lori Fetter. Ladies, thanks for being here today at The Score. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having us. Yeah, I mean, that was, uh, I, I love I mean, the way all that rolled off your tongue. I was, I was very impressed, impressed with that. There. Really? I just read it like for the first time about five minutes ago. Really? Yeah. Uh, I've not been studying for that I for a week. really don't. You're believe, really good. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, so it's a great. Not unbelievable. It's a great promotion. Twenty five cents for the yeah. first month. Yeah. Order for a quarter, and uh, actually, if you order before August twenty fifth, you can go ahead and get in on that promotion. But it's twenty five years of celebrating, you know, uh, Playboy TV. So Lori and I are actually going all around the country partying. Yep. It's like uh, an it's entire like the best year. job ever, kind of. Yeah. Okay, so lie. like you're you're in Chicago, not just for this, not just to come to the score to talk about the order for a quarter. You're hanging out the whole weekend in Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. So if guys, we're here for six days. Okay, six days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Careful. We want to get close to the microphone. It's not that close to it. Yeah. Though. All right, and uh, uh, there's a few events you guys actually are uh, participating in yep. Sunday, this Sunday, Sunday night. night. Yeah, uh, at level. level level 1045 North Ross Street. You guys are hanging out 9 p.m. So people can, it's open to the public. Yeah, open to yeah. the public. And we're actually going to be there. We're teaming up with Playboy Golf. So you can go to playboygolf.com to check out their website. Because Monday, we're actually going to be at the golf course. Golfing. With all Hot of our golfers. Hot chicks golfing. Oh, okay, yeah, for the, for the Playboy Golf Scramble. In and Chicago. if people want, people want information, it's Playboy golf golf dot com. Okay, yeah. they get all the information right there and they yeah. can sign up there for for Monday, August eleventh. And now do you guys actually golf? Yeah. Yeah. You do? I mean, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best golfer. I mean I'm no tiger, but maybe a tigger. Okay. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know? All right, just once again, if you want that special offer, it's before August 25th, right? Yeah, yeah. order for a quarter, just call your local cable, cable provider. Or you can call 800-887-7213 for that information. The first month, only 25 cents of Playboy television. All right, now let's talk about you guys. Oh, okay. I was reading up a little bit about you. <laughs> and some fascinating stuff. I, I mean, this is the first time I've ever talked to Playmates of the Month before. You can just say Playmates, and people will know it's, you know. Yeah, we're centerfolds. Yeah. 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 Center. I've yeah. never really heard of Playmates of the Month. Wait, yeah. You have some centerfolds. Yeah, well, you're rocking the centerfolds right, right now. Can we, can we get this? I'm gonna, uh, uh, there are two centerfolds <laughs> here in the studio. Playboy <laughs> centerfolds. Okay. Have you guys ever been on Playboy TV? Yeah. Yeah. For mm -hmm. what? Well, you know, a lot of different programs play on there, you know, um, and they have videos of the parties on there, which mm -hmm. I'm sure we've ended up on. Yes. They have had all sorts of things, and our Playboy videos I'm sure have been on Playboy yeah. TV okay. yeah, we do have right the on there. Playmate video which is just kind of like the pictures coming to life you know it's not anything like kinky or crazy or anything like no, that no, but, no, okay so it's just, the, it's just like the photo shoots coming to life you can watch like a photo shoot kind of thing right uh, it's yeah, like a 10 minute like, okay. thing like yeah what are, what are around the house naked in your of course. birthday suit what are some <laughs> of the uh the top programs on Playboy TV right now right now they have four some Yes, which, which is, I, is very good. Okay, so and I read up on foursome. It's it's a like a reality, like a twenty four hour blind date show. They take four people, four strangers, put them together in a house and just videotape them, and whatever goes, it just it all happens. And yeah, apparently, it's very it all happens. uncensored, very uh, candid. Uncensored four strangers. <laughs> so that's that's one of the hottest shows. And uh, what else is popular right hey, now? Naughty ha amateur home videos. Yeah, that is with Jesse Jane. Okay. Amateur naughty home videos. Okay, I'm okay. Yeah, like, that's I've pretty seen, much self-explanatory. It's self-explanatory. Like, would you like to give us? A no, but bit I more like, of no, just because like, like when you said that, my first thought was like my neighbors on my floor and my high-rise downtown here. I really don't want Playboy TV coming to my floor. I don't, <laughs> I don't really want to see my neighbors and what it is that they're uh, doing. I have behind. a feeling that uh, it's more of you know really sexy. Right. Right. Hot neighbors. Oh, I would hope yeah. so. I hope. I would hope Cute it's not my neighbors. Playboy TV but, keeps it. You know. You know. Right. It's, it's not notch. like the normal gardener, but maybe the gardener on Desperate Housewives okay. or like, you know, maybe... The Girls Next Door. Yeah. Okay, now, have you guys met the Girls Next Door? Yes. Of course. Of okay. Course. And what's the deal with Half? You guys have met Matt. You guys have met Half, obviously. Absolutely. Half yes. has handpicked all the, every playmate. So okay. we've all met Half. Okay, yeah. so what, what was it like meeting Half? 
Well, you know, the first time I met him, he called because I was staying at the mansion while I was shooting my pictorial. And he goes, hello, darling. This is Hef. Would you like to go to dinner with us? I was like, am I still sleeping? <laughs> I was like, what time is it? So, yeah, and then we went downstairs. We had a couple cocktails before we leave. and then, Cocktails are good. Yeah, and cocktails. then we all went out to dinner. It was a great time. Really? Very really nice guy. Actually, when I first walked in, it was like, um, it was right at the beginning of the 50th anniversary. So, right in the Great Hall, as you walk in, they put this big, big, huge Playboy, the rabbit head with 50, 50th anniversary on it. And I was just turning 23 at the time. And I was like, Hef, I was like, you got my age all wrong. I'm only 23. <laughs> I was like, somebody needs to come in and fix this. And yeah. he was really cool about it. He was like, yeah, somebody make notes. Like, took out his little notepads or making notes. He's like, we need to have this fixed. Now, so what I was, played along and made me feel good. What was the uh, decision process for both of you guys to, like, to say that you wanted to do Playboy? You know, I was living here in Chicago because I'm from here. And Where are you I, from originally? I grew up in Elgin, Illinois. Oh, Elgin. Yeah. Um, and then I lived in the city a couple of years and I was... They found, I was kind of discovered here, and it was, I don't know, it was kind of one of those decisions where I was like, um, okay, I'm just going to do it. How did you get discovered? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do How it. How did someone get discovered? How did you get discovered? I was introduced to the senior photo editor of Playboy International here in Chicago at a bar <laughs> that I probably shouldn't have been at because I was like 19 years old. Okay. But whatever, it worked out, right. and then right. I ended up shooting my pictorial here in Chicago, and then, um... Hef invited me out to LA to come to one of the parties, and he was always so um, personally personal with me because Hef was from Chicago mm -hmm. and you know, the first Playboy Mansion here, and he was always like, "It's my favorite town." No, so, Lori actually told me she's gonna take me in to see, like, to show her where the old Playboy Mansion yeah. is. Yeah, and is this your first, first time in Chicago? No, I've been to Chicago a couple okay. times. Because you're from originally from San Antonio, correct? Yes. Yeah. And so, how did you go from San Antonio to Playboy? Um. Well, I had moved to L.A. and I was acting, and then there's this big magazine out there called The Hollywood Reporter, which, like, they'll put, like, the newest movies on the back. They do a lot of industry um, advertising, so any big movie that's going to come out is going to be on the back of The Hollywood Reporter, and I had done an independent film called Malibu Spring Break. It's, like, this total chick flick, and you can still, like, catch it on cable. It's really weird. No, like, chick flick, like, like, chicks would like it, or it's, like, guys want to watch it because it's all about chicks? Uh, both. Like, okay. it's like, it's like the whole, like, kind of like the maid in Manhattan, like the maid, like the guy falls in love, like the rich guy falls okay. in love with the maid, but he doesn't really know that she's a maid. Of course, I'm Latin, so I was the maid. Okay. Like, you and know. It's what's it called? <laughs> it's called, um, Malibu Spring Break. There you go. Ma uh, Malibu <laughs> yeah. Spring Break. Starring Pilar Lastra. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. But, um, it was, but that was actually kind the of like... The shameless plugging going I, on no, right now. No, 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 no. Hilarious. But, but this is actually one of those movies where I'm like, did I really do that? But in all fairness to that movie, like, that really did launch my career. And so, I, like, I was on, I was in a bikini with a bunch of other girls, and Mariela Gabowski, who was a photo editor for L.A., saw it, and she called the production company, and, like, the movie couldn't even get me to take my top off. I was so against nudity. And I was like, oh, what a joke. No, thanks. And then the production called me, like, on the third time. They're like, Pilar, I think that they're not going to call you again. So I talked to my family, and we decided to do it. I was like, but, like, my mother's Latin and Catholic. Like, that was not the best conversation right. to have. Single parent. Yeah, like, I told my mom after I did it. And that was really We still smart. don't want to talk about it. Yeah, that's It's, it's like the thing that Lori did that we just don't discuss. Okay, yeah, so as I was trying to figure that out, because I, I have a daughter who's 11, and I was trying to put my place in, like, as a father or, like, as a, a boyfriend or a right. husband. Like, if my daughter or, like, wife or girlfriend came to me and said, hey, you know, I think about, you know, about doing Playboy, my initial reaction would be, like, I don't know if I want people I know to see you naked. I'm not too well, sure know, about that. My, my boyfriend ex, at the yeah. time was irate. He really? told his mother, his mother's like, I don't think this is a good thing for you to do. I'm like, I don't really think there's any of your decisions. That's none of your concern, Which, right? honestly, I think well, probably made me want to do it even more than I did before when yeah. I was just kind of like mulling it over and then to have him be like, absolutely not. It made yeah. me go, want to make a bet? Because right. that's just yeah, I'm, very, I'm more competitive. I like, guess, yeah. if, my, if my girlfriend like, knew it, I think it sounds it sounds really hot. Like you want to think it sounds really hot. Like right. my, my girlfriend's a, a, a playmate, a centerfold. Right. As long as like none of my friends would be able to get a copy of the magazine, I think I'd be cool with that. Because I hate hanging yeah. out. Then it like my friends would be like, oh, it yeah, is, a, it is 